activist who went missing during last week's anti-government protests has resurfaced, bloody but alive. Dmitro Bulatov says he was kidnapped, tortured and dumped in a forest outside Kiev. Europe correspondent Phil Williams reports, and a warning, his story contains some graphic images some viewers may find distressing. For more than a week, opposition activist Dmitro Bulatov was missing. Bloodied and battered, he said he'd been abducted and tortured before being dumped in a forest and left for dead. I had my hands pierced, they crucified me, he said. They cut off my ear, cut my face. My body is beaten, black and blue. The rest you can see, but thank God I'm alive. Bulatov said he didn't see his abductors, but that they spoke Russian. He was well known for leading convoys of protesters to demonstrate outside the homes of prominent government figures. Despite President Yanukovych finally signing laws overturning anti-protest legislation, demonstrators in Independence Square are staying put. Amongst them is this man, Mikhail Gavriluk. He had earlier been filmed after being stripped naked by riot police in the snow and beaten. The police are waiting for a higher judgment, God's judgment, he said, and they'll get it sooner or later. This man claims he was the riot policeman who shot the video, then resigned and fled the country. I don't think police chiefs give such orders to abuse detained people, he said. I think the policemen who work in those hotspots now in Kiev are just so angry at what's happening. The United Nations has called for an investigation into the torture claims, and the US Secretary of State, John Kerry, says the Ukrainian president must offer the opposition more. We also would say to our uh, friends in Russia, this does not have to be a zero-sum game. This is not something where Ukraine should become uh, a proxy and trapped in some kind of larger ambition for Russia and the United States. On Independence Square, the cold winter of attrition continues with no end in sight. Philip Williams, ABC News. The Ukrainian community in Australia is growing increasingly worried about civil unrest in their homeland. Dual citizens who have recently visited Ukraine say the situation is getting out of control and they're calling on Australian authorities to give assistance. These scenes of violent clashes between police and protesters were captured last week by a Ukrainian-Australian video journalist who travelled to Kiev. <laughs> Everyday citizens are protesting the economic and political turmoil as the country wrestles between European and Russian ties. Demjan Doroshenko says he was hit with rubber bullets as he documented the unfolding drama. People were generally, who were unprotected were the main targets. I was next to one fellow who was shot in the head by a rubber bullet and it, he, he fell like a, a tree. About 40,000 Ukrainians now call Australia home. They're worried the fighting in their homeland could lead to an all-out civil war. Eugene and Arisia Stefan from Melbourne have visited Kiev several times in the last few months and say they're concerned for their friends and family. Police are going through buildings, asking, uh, asking residents of buildings who is coming home late, uh, who is wearing Ukrainian uh, symbols like blue and yellow. They say there won't be peace until the population are convinced that corruption is gone and the economy improves. There is no rule of law that people can actually use in the way that we're used to doing that here. Ksenia Jurovlova now lives in Brisbane but says she's worried about losing contact with her parents if the phone lines or internet shuts down. Everything on the western side is, um, you know, all the roads are blocked. Um, everything is like a chaos is happening, basically. She says social media has helped keep friends and relatives informed. In general, overall, when we watch the news, it's very limited what's happening overseas. The Department of Foreign Affairs and Trade is advising Australians to avoid public squares in cities like Kiev. Josh Bathurst, ABC News. Amanda Knox.